welcome so in this video we will be looking into importing open source models into SageMaker so I am here at Hugging Face Hugging Face basically provides a lot of a lot of models that are made by the community and different companies that are made for generation generative AI these are there are LLM models, there are generative models for image recognition, for image creation, sorry, and for text generation. So here I have a model named Distilled Bird based Uncased Distilled Scott. I will be importing that model into SageMaker Notebook and integrate it with Amazon SageMaker. So first of all, what I will do is I will open Amazon SageMaker. From there, I have gone into domains and I have created a domain from here. I've used the quick setup and once uh, I click setup, after a few minutes, it will create a domain. So what you will do next, you will open this domain. There will be a default domain user profile created here you will go into launch and open a studio. For the first time, it will take few minutes, but I have done it uh, earlier, so it is not taking much time. It will take only a couple of seconds and it will be loaded soon. Okay, so now the SageMaker Studio has launched. Uh, what I will be doing, I will be creating notebooks and other resources. I will be clicking on this because I need a notebook for that. Once I've done that, uh, here I have different options, create notebook, open code console, open image terminal, and similarly I can open Python file and do my programming on that, but I will be opening a notebook. So once I click on that, I have obtained this notebook. And if I go here, I have already created a notebook for uh, your understanding and practice on that. So first of all, I will be importing image uh, SageMaker library. Then I am creating a session for that. And I am getting the role that is attached to my SageMaker notebook. So for importing the model, here is the real stuff that we wanted to see. For importing the hugging face model, uh, this is basically uh, the model that are open source and we can use them for or on research and development purposes. So I am importing hugging face model. Next, I am um, uh, telling the model ID to be distilled bird base uncased distilled scored. So from where I am getting this, if I go here, on the hugging face and on the top, I can take the model name from here. If I click here, I get cop uh, the name gets copied and I place that name here. And what is the task for which uh, I am using that model? That is a question answering task. So here I have written this question answering. Next, I have created an instance of model for that uh, in the environment variable, I have put it placed hub that contains the model ID and the task for which it is being used. Next, I have used the role, the role that is attached to that SageMaker notebook for transformer version, PyTorch version, and Py version. You will be uh, looking for how I uh, got these values. And if I go into here on the uh, page of Hugging Face, there is a train option and Amazon SageMaker. If I go down here, I can take the transformer version from here. I can take the PyTorch version. I can take the Python version and the instance type, uh, which we will be using later. So I have placed that here. Next, I have deployed that model. Deployment is necessary uh, so the we can perform the inference. So I have deployed that model on ML M5X large. And once it is deployed, I have given it some input. I have said, I am Zaklian Hussein Shah. I was born on this. I have a wife and a son who is this years old. So the question I am asking it from the context is, what is name of my son? 
and if I give that data the question and the context to predict so I give so if I give this data to the model that is being deployed on SageMaker the models that are deployed are normally seen here in the Amazon SageMaker we have the option of uh, let me tell you here under inference we have the option So one last thing that I need to tell you is that don't forget to delete the model that you have created, the endpoint you have created here. The reason for that is it will be costing you a lot of bill. It can cost you a lot of bill. So you can use predictor.delete endpoints and it will delete your model de being deployed on SageMaker. So it will save you a lot of cost that you can incur. Thank you.